Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. This year is coming to a close, and the year 2017 really has been full of ups and downs. It's been a colorful year of many great triumphs and, and several devastating tragedies as well. But for the field of archaeology, this year has proven to be a massive success in terms of the amazing discoveries that have been made within the last 12 months. And among these archaeological finds are long lost temples, enigmatic stone structures, and statues and ancient human remains of groundbreaking revelations. And so, with the year nearing its conclusion, let's take a look at some of them. So, here are five of the greatest archaeological discoveries of 2017. We'll start off at number one with the mysterious ancient stone structures discovered in Saudi Arabia. Of course, satellite imagery has done wonders for us in important fields such as meteorology, geology, regional planning, and more. This year, the technology also proved itself valuable in helping archaeologists track down unexplored ancient sites. In fact, this October, news surfaced online about the discovery of previously unknown stone structures somewhere in the heart of Saudi Arabia. Around 400 of these stone structures have been found and they are believed to date back to several thousand years ago. Archaeologists refer to the stone structures at the site as gates as they resemble the shape of field gaze when viewed from above. Situated within the remote and volcanic region of Harad Kaibar, these man-made structures are built in close proximity to the volcanic domes that once released basaltic lava. Not much is known about the purpose they serve and the reason why they were built. However, it is estimated that these ancient stone structures were constructed by men during the time when the region's volcano was active. Next, the 3,000-year-old statue found beneath the slums of Cairo. Last March, it was reported that a group of archaeologists from Egypt and Germany managed to unearth a colossal statue believed to date back as far as three millennia ago. The 30-feet-tall quartzite statue was discovered during an excavation in Materia of Greater Cairo in Egypt. Initially, it is thought that the statue is that of Pharaoh Ramses II. While they did not find any inscriptions that would point to the identity of the statue to be Ramses, Ramses II, he was considered to be the most likely candidate as the statue was found near where a temple dedicated to the legendary pharaoh was erected. However, after evaluating the statue's features, it was later determined that it may have been created in a different time. They also found an inscription of the name Neba on the statue, which is only known to refer to the pharaoh of the 26th dynasty. Once his origin has been verified, this colossus would be heralded as the largest one ever to have been discovered in the late period of ancient Egypt. Number 3. Finding the Lost Temple of Artemis After more than a century of searching, archaeologists believe that they finally found the long-lost ancient temple built in honor of Artemis, the ancient Greek goddess of the hunt as well as the forest and hills. The temple was found near Amarantos, a coastal town situated on the island of Euboea. The existence of this elusive temple has been made known to archaeologists long ago through the work of Strabo, an ancient Greek philosopher and historian. The search for the temple began during the 19th century, and the effort to track down its location proved very difficult, with Strabo's confusing and inaccurate directions. Researchers eventually managed to track down a Byzantine church which featured aged old stones which had once been part of an ancient Greek structure. There they found inscriptions of the goddess's name at the site confirming that the temple had indeed been built in her honor. Next, ancient skulls in China believed to belong to an unidentified human species. In March of 2017, news broke out that a couple of partial human skulls were found by researchers at the Linjing site located in Xuchang of Henan province in central China. These two pieces of human fossils date back to around 105,000 to 125,000 years ago, and they are particularly peculiar because their features are a combination of those found in Neanderthals and modern humans. As such, there is much excitement in studying these partial skulls further as they might help in answering some of the mysteries of how modern humans in East Asia came to be the way they are now. Some have speculated that the skull may be fossil evidence of a yet-to-be-discovered human species. Others believe that they could be proof of the hypothesized Denisovan origins of the humans in East Asia. Finally, I did find the first confirmed high-ranking female Viking. The idea that female Vikings fought alongside their male counterparts really is nothing new. Historical records, mythological tales, and artistic works from the Middle Ages have featured women valiantly engaging in battle just like men did. Nevertheless, the suggestion that skillful female warriors had once assumed powerful leadership positions still seemed to some people too mythical to be believed. But now that more and more Viking warrior graves are being excavated in different parts of Europe and we are now equipped with the technology to study these human remains more thoroughly, we can now say with some degree of confidence that at least one high-ranking female Viking warrior has been identified. Among the 3,000 Viking graves found in Burka, Sweden, one in particular is of significant interest since it is believed that it is where the body of a high-ranking official is buried. The human remains in this grave at Burka was unearthed around the late 19th century along with a complete set of lethal weapons in an ancient board game known to be played by military strategists. And for a very long time, it was assumed that this high-ranking 
Team Viking Warrior was a guy. However, the warrior's body was recently re-examined and its nuclear DNA was tested. And lo and behold, it was actually a woman. So there you go, guys. And today, we, we, we really know, understand, and appreciate more about our ancient past than we did a few decades and maybe even centuries ago. And that's thanks to the passion and determination of researchers in uncovering the truth about our history so we can learn more about who we were and where we came from. But there is still so much more left to explore and learn about humans lived hundreds and thousands of years ago. And I'm sure the coming year will bring much more new discoveries and interesting finds. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great new year. I'll see you later.